Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today. We are in the playoffs, deep in the playoffs, as we look to head into the Super Bowl. Coming off another nail-biter game, 17-14 over the Los Angeles Rams in the NFC Conference Championship. We do have some players to upgrade. I'm not going to spend too much time doing that. We are going to go over the season stats as this is the last game of the, uh, the season. And we'll go over player stats here. Kyle Lillard, 4,500 yards, 38 touchdowns to 19 interceptions. Mahomes played a little bit. Three touchdowns, three interceptions for him. 268 yards passing in that one game. It was a weird game. Rushing, Saquon Barkley, about 1,500 yards, 11 touchdowns. Uh, I know we went over these, I believe, in another episode before the playoffs, but this is kind of just a refresher for you guys if you uh, didn't see what happened. Odell was a monster, 1,500 yards, 17 touchdowns. Keenan Allen, about 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Kind of a weird season for him. We didn't really throw the ball to him that much, I feel, but then again, there he is right with Evan Ingram and just 10 minus uh, Odell. Not, I know not 10, but about. Um... Trent Brown gave up 24 sacks. Absolutely terrible. He was really, really bad. Alex Espinosa led the team in tackles with 88. He had 15 tackles for loss with 16, or excuse me, six interceptions. Sacks was led by Roman Pugh with 12, 10 and a half for Cameron Jordan, and then interceptions that we talked about. Six for BJ Goodson as well, three for Dubose, Sidney Jones, Julius Manning at two, so did Kent Raymond, Lennon Collins, Lorenzo Carter, and Derwin James. Do want to show you guys the Pro Bowl. As people always ask about that, Kyle Aletta is a Pro Bowl quarterback. He is QB1. Halfback one is Ezekiel Elliott. Saquon Barkley barely makes it at halfback number three, even though he's having a great season. Odell Beckham Jr. is wide receiver two with 17 touchdowns. Uh, no other receivers made it for us. And Evan Ingram is not one of the top three tight ends. Very unfortunate. Will Hernandez is a Pro Bowl left guard. Very good to see. As is Logan Robeson. Our starting center, Ryan Ramchek, also a pro bowler for us. And then the defense side of the ball, we have no defensive linemen, really. That sucks. No linebackers. No Alex Espinoza. They chose John Ryan. Oh, hate to see it. No cornerbacks. No safeties. Obi Melifon was here. Audric Rosas is in, though. So you like to see that. But uh, yeah, those are our pro bowlers. And this is the upgraded team, in case you guys didn't see it last episode. 96 overall, 99 offense, 99 defense. We have a new member of the 99 club in Derwin James. Alex Espinoza is in there as well. I think he has the gear. Um, I know that's with confidence, but I think we gave it to him, right? Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, Roman Pugh is up to a 99 overall. I'm not sure that he has a 99 gear. Oh, he does. Okay, never mind. Morris Dubose is close behind, and then on offense, we have Saquon and Odell Beckham Jr. No one else is that close. Keenan Allen, 97 with confidence, because he's really a 95 overall. Uh, but we're not worried about that this week. We're worried about the Cleveland Browns, as Lorenzo Carter is back from injury. What a huge player to get back. He's been so good for us. Had a really good year, despite not playing the entire season. 85 overall, but... He is 6'5", with really good speed at 88. Big playmaker at linebacker. And now, we head to Dallas to take on the Cleveland Browns as they look to get their first ever Super Bowl. 96 overall to 85 overall. Let's get that win. Giants, Browns. Of course, the Browns have never won a Super Bowl as we look to gain our sixth. Of course, we won the Super Bowl two years ago in this franchise in Season 2, which was our fifth. So that makes it 86, 1990, 2007, 2011, 2019. And now we look for 2021. The New York Giants take the field on, honestly, enemy territory at AT&T. As here are the Cleveland Browns led by Baker Mayfield and company. Not a bad team. Obviously, they did something right to make the Super Bowl. That is Bengus Khan's career record, 41-23. and 23. Not too bad. Hugh Jackson is still the coach of the Cleveland Browns at 41-71. and 71. 
Obviously, his record has gotten a lot better over these past few seasons. And Bengus Khan, letting Kyle Aletta know, hey, it's your time. Lead us to a Super Bowl victory. Let's get it. Alex Espinosa is ready. I'm ready. Hopefully, you at home are ready. I'm ready! Super Bowl 50-something. Probably should have known what it is. LVI. L is 50. V is 5. I is 1. So, Super Bowl 56. Live from AT&T. Let's bring home another Lombardi. To draw. Get on that. It's going to be Duke Johnson. He breaks a tackle. Derwin James tries to lay the lumber, but Duke Johnson holds on to the football. A gain of six to start things off. We had a lot of trouble last week against Jared Goff, and those were not even in ideal conditions. As Duke Johnson still fighting, and he's still going. Thank God Alex Espinosa was there to wrap up. Looks like he's going to be a big problem today. But we'll see what Baker Mayfield and this Browns offense can do in literally perfect conditions here inside of AT&T Stadium. It's basically a dome. I don't think it'd be open at this time, but you never know. There's going to be a play action there and a shot deep. Sidney Jones with the interception. Starting off last week or two weeks ago in the conference championship the same exact way with an interception on defense to get things going. Let's get it. There we go, Barkley. I need Odell to hold that block better, so that's more than a gain of four. I think that'd be pretty good. Roll out with Kyle. We're just going to throw it away. Didn't really see anything get separation there. I feel like this last patch, as we're going to try to pick up that blitz, um, really, really screwed with how tight defenders play receivers. Like, really tight. As we throw it to Evan Ingram. Tried to spin past him. Would have been nice if Odell could have come back and laid a block, but it's really a lot to expect in that situation, especially when he can't see that route develop. They're blitzing. Come on. That was only five-man pressure. Then could have even been four-man pressure, but we just couldn't get the ball off. Yeah, four-man pressure. Now it is third and 17. Said Saquon Barkley on a wheel. And we're sacked again. It's Emmanuel Agba. You'll never guess who he's destroying. Yeah, it's Trent Brown. As we can't take advantage of this opportunity. But uh, we take advantage of showing off the best punter on YouTube by far. It's a title that I solely claim. And check out that boomer. Not my best work, but... Just that's it. No, no buts. Just not my best. You can only kick it so far, you know. Good tackle, Alex. We got to stop Duke Johnson before he really gets going. Mayfield throwing, and it's nearly an interception for Sidney Jones as he came back to the football. Would have been his second of the game here, only in the first quarter. Mayfield, all kinds of time, going deep. And Sidney Jones makes a great play on the football to stab that one incomplete. He's been targeted three times. He's come up successful all three times, including two pass deflections and an interception. Great start for Sidney Jones, let me tell you. We're going to throw to Odell. Kyle Aletta on the money. Odell makes an incredible diving catch. We pick up the first. There goes Saquon. Good spin. Keep going. Stiff arm. Saquon staying up with the truck inside the 10. What a run. Wayne Gallman in. Wish he wasn't. We're going to roll out with White Lightning. Looking to run. And pick up a few. Third and goal. Looking for a touchdown to end the quarter. We're throwing for Howard Russell, and he's got a touchdown. We're going to take the lead here to end the first quarter at 7-0. Good way to, to uh, make our mark on the first quarter. First points of the game. Mayfield throwing over the middle. 
Jarred loose, Derwin James. Derwin James. Derwin James made a nice play on the ball. Mayfield throw into the flat. And Julius Manning wraps up, but he gets the first down. That's brutal. The gear blitzing. That's just a good, really quick read by Baker Mayfield. It's going to be a run. Lawrence Thomas stops Duke, but he gains like two yards. It's going to be third in inches. It's another run. Duke Johnson picks up a few, and they are officially in New York Giants territory after the five-yard gain. Oh, ball's loose. Recovered by Derwin James. Duke Johnson coughed it up. And that is definitely going back the other way. Illegal block in the back. We're going to decline that one uh, all day. First and 10, New York Giants. Who forced that one loose? That's a really, really costly turnover for the Cleveland Browns handoff. Duke Johnson, big hit by Landon Collins and Derwin James. They combine for a world of pain on Duke Johnson. Looks like that. Wait, did Lawrence Thomas punch that one out? No, it w Landon Collins did. Came in the last second, popped it out. Wow, that was a really interesting play. But got to take advantage of this opportunity. Got to get in the end zone. Ah, it's a sack on third and eight. Get Trent Brown off the field. The thing is, we don't have a better option. We've been sacked three times, each time by Emmanuel Agba. But look at that punt, though. Oh, my God. Look at that punt. Look at that punt. Tell me I'm not the best punter on YouTube. <laughs> what a title. We're going to run commit if they pass. We are screwed. They are going to run. And they lose one. Oh, it's a run to the fullback. Didn't expect that one. Another run. Duke Johnson breaks the tackle. Dalvin Tomlinson makes sure it doesn't go any further than that. We haven't been able to take advantage of uh, these turnovers. Two times they've turned over the football. Two times we have not scored. Second and 14. Just hold your block for 10 seconds. Well, 10 seconds is a lot. Just kind of hoping for one second for Trent Brown. We're going to get the first down. Safety blitz. Should have a mismatch. And it's going to be over the middle with Odell. And he drops the ball. They played really good uh, coverage on that. Didn't expect it. Also, you know what I didn't realize? What's up with these helmets? Why are we wearing the ones with the, uh, the Giants text on the side? Versus the NY. Why is that? Why is that a thing? So Dell fights to get out of bounds and he doesn't. Slant, Keenan Allen, turn up, and he is stopped short of the end zone. That must have been a centimeter away from being called a touchdown. I have no idea how Keenan Allen did not get in. We're gonna run the football. Come on, Saquon, up the middle. He's got the touchdown. We're going to go up 14-0 before the half. And oh my God, Saquon's eating right in Larry Okajobi's face. The disrespect. Two touchdown lead. And that's going to be the end of half number one. Oh no, they're going to run a play. And it goes nowhere. That is the end of the first half. It's been a pretty good half of football. We're going to receive to start the second and here, that is third quarter, 10 minutes on the clock. Right, we're going to take this thing out with Howard Russell. See if we can find some space. Uh, no. Hit the hole, Saquon. There we go. Spin back. Ooh, Denzel Ward made the tackle. Wide open is Carlos Kershaw. Good power. Pickup of 13. We're going to run the ball on third and two. Barkley. There we go. Good power. Are they blitzing that safety? No. Good black pickup. And it's intercepted. That's not... Oh, my God. Demarius Randall. I get Barry Sanders with the ball on his head, apparently. That's... Uh... 
I was throwing it away. And <laughs> I guess I should have taken the sack. It could have went right to him, dude. What are the odds? Probably 100% because the game hates me. Get to the quarterback. Espinosa, pick it off! It's Nat DeGear! An unlikely guy to get it. He spins past Mayfield. He trying to break a tackle, fight for the end zone. And he is down at the three, but Nat DeGear, the BYU third round pick maybe, doesn't play much at all, comes up with arguably the biggest play of this entire Super Bowl. First and goal, we're passing, pressure. Miles Garrett working off that right edge. So yeah, he was going up against, you guessed it, Trent Brown. Just gonna throw a quick for Keenan Allen. Didn't really see a uh, touchdown, so we are gonna settle for the field goal. Trying to take a lot of time off the clock at this point. Kick is good, 17 nothing. And it's been big turnovers to the Browns at bad times. Their offenses look good, but these turnovers are killing them. Oh, man, I should have been there. Didn't really read it. Dur Jarvis Landry's still going. Only Baker Mayfield's fifth completion of the game. Let's play action. Get there, Lawrence Thomas, but Roman Pugh, the Roman soldier, brings him down. Good stuff. Our first sack of the game. Third and 15. Mayfield rolls out to his left. He's going to run. He's going to throw deep to the end zone. Sidney Jones interception. We're going to take it out. His second of the game. Sidney Jones. He could be the Super Bowl MVP. We have not had a fantastic game offensively. It's really been the defense. What is Baker Mayfield doing launching that deep? It's his third interception. Throw that to Odell. Good catch. It's going to be the end of the third quarter. Good pass caught. Yikes. Nearly intercepted by Brian Body Calhoun. How did he jump that? Yikes. Sake one up the middle. Pull him over. Kind of breaks right on past him. Third and four, we're gonna give it to Barkley. Try to get outside, we got it. Easy. It's like passing is the most dangerous thing we can do based on the pressure. It's just very bad, but Evan Ingram, very strong, very fast. Good tight end, he's gonna bring that one inside the 10, carrying two Browns defenders on his back. Draw, Saquon, end zone, touchdown. It's number two of the Super Bowl. And he might be the Super Bowl MVP now as we look to shut out the Browns. 24-0. Mayfield going to throw to Duke Johnson. And uh, he gets nothing. Mayfield throws again to his running back. Duke Johnson. Yeah, they got the combo. Where they got Juke Johnson Jr. They got Nuke Chubb. The Chubb or not. Mayfield going down, balls out. Recovered by Roman Pugh. It's going to be tough to determine who the Super Bowl MVP is. Cameron Jordan stripped that one. Roman Pugh now with a sack and a fumble recovery. I don't know. I think this one's about over. Who would you guys give the Super Bowl MVP to at this point? Let me know. Emmanuel Agba's fourth sack of the game. It's third and 20. We might just take a shot, see if Odell can come down with it. We got one on one. Laletta for Beckham. Incomplete. And we will punt the ball back. Let's pin him deep. Best punter on YouTube. Kendall Newfeld kicks it deep. And that is oh, right where I wanted it, but didn't have the hang time. Unfortunate. 
Mayfield throwing. What a play by Morris Dubose. This is a no-fly zone in the secondary. And another sack for Roman Pugh. The Roman soldier salutes. Great play. Third and 18. I think it's safe to say the game is effectively on the line here. And Roman Pugh brings down Baker Mayfield again. His third sack. Fourth and 21. The Browns are going to punt back. That's admitting defeat at that point. They're waving the white flag. There we go, Saquon. Good run. And of course, the 1 minute and 59 second warning, as has been a glitch in Madden for some time now. Third and 11, handoff goes to Barkley. He's up the middle and over 100 on the game, and that should seal the victory. I guess we're going to line up in field goal here. Three, two, one. And that is the ball game. The New York Giants are once again Super Bowl champions here. As Baker Mayfield not able to deliver the Browns the Super Bowl championship. But Hugh Jackson, of course, consoling Baker as they are great friends in real life, clearly. As Patrick Mahomes tackles Landon Collins. Bengus Khan meets Hugh Jackson out in the middle. Spit in his face, Bengus. All right, maybe not. But that is it. Who, I want, I'm excited to see who won the Super Bowl uh, MVP. I would give it to Roman Pugh. I think those sacks down the line were so instrumental, including a fumble recovery. It was just such a defensive battle. Our offense really never exploded. Kyle Aletta had a decent game, but not insane yardage. Saquon Barkley got over 100 there at the end. A lot of that garbage time, but he did have two touchdowns. So maybe you give it to Saquon. I don't think you give it to Kyle. I don't think you give it to Howard Russell at a touchdown. Maybe you give it to Sidney Jones. It's going to be Roman Pugh as your Super Bowl MVP. Four tackles, three sacks. Absolute havoc wreaker. And the Roman soldier. Hopefully he should be up on the podium to raise the Lombardi, but I don't think it is. I think it's always the same. Halfback, middle linebacker, receiver, and quarterback as Odell, Alex Espinoza, Kyle Lalletta, and Saquon Barkley raise that trophy high. And that is going to do it for the series. It's been an absolute pleasure to record Giants franchise, even through the ups and the downs of the gameplay and the series. We've done over 50 episodes of Giants franchise. The team is as good as it could ever be. 99 offense and defense. Fantastic special teams. Um, and it really has been a joy to carry out a true Madden 19 franchise series. Or Madden franchise series and really keep up with it. Upload regularly. Again, as I said, 50 plus episodes. You guys have been fantastic throughout all of it. Um, and as this is the end of Giants franchise here on the channel in Madden 19, doesn't mean it's the end of Madden 19 franchise or Madden franchise for me in general. We'll have to see what comes down the line. You guys are definitely going to have to stay tuned for that. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching all these episodes. I mean, 50 plus episodes of around 30 minutes apiece. That's a lot of a time commitment. And you guys were just so supportive along the way through the ups and the downs, as I said. So I'm very grateful and thank you for that. Um, but that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I think it was a great series. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.